Alrighty, here we go. Here we go. We are going to be using Ricky Hatton today. Just realized I haven't used him. Also, it's kind of, um, <clears throat> this fighter is also kind of out of my comfort zone. Um, generally, I feel more comfortable using fighters that are more outside fighters. Fighters that I can dance around a little bit, jab, move. Um, Ricky Hatton is someone that you really have to swarm your opponent with. You have to pressure fight. Um, that's the sort of fight we have to fight with him. So, uh, I'll do my very best. I am fighting. Um, my opponent is going to be a... We'll see. We'll see. A lot of times, these players... These players don't really use... They don't really use their, uh, character as well as they should. But this man had quite an impressive record. Over 120 wins and, like, I believe, like, only 20 losses. It was something quite impressive. I forget... I just saw it. So we'll see. Right off the bat, I'm trying to trying to stay not directly in front of him the whole time, but uh of course with a style like this, success a lot of times will come down to how well you can work the body. There we go. So we're gonna we're gonna tee off on the body quite a bit. There we go. I will say, it uh it is very satisfying working the body in undisputed. It, it doesn't quite sip away at your opponent's stamina like I think it should, and it does take quite a ridiculous amount of time before you can actually start doing serious damage to the body but uh in terms of like how the strikes land it is very uh <laughs> it is very satisfying i must say there we go i can tell this dude is good right away i can tell he's good it's gonna be a long one boys strap in strap in Yeah, I'm liking this round for me. <laughs> I am liking this round for me, boys. Here we go. Yeah, I like it. I like the way that's playing. We we'll just keep it going just like that. We're not going to change much. And we'll see what happens. Of course, there's still lots of issues to be fixed, but I, I told you guys going into Undisputed, like I, I've made multiple videos talking in detail about what I do believe the game needs to change. A lot of those changes they've made, which I'm very grateful for. Um, but of course, there's still, there's still things that they need to work on. The stamina being one of them. Of course, they still need to be, need to tweak the power. Power punch, not just power punches, but power in general it needs to be tweaked. And I don't know if that's going to be fixed completely just because of the way the damage system in itself is set up. Okay. Hey, man. I think you should be moving. I think you should be moving and looking and look in the box on the outside, not stand directly in front of me. But, uh... <laughs> so weird for me to fight this way like it's so unnatural in a boxing game like this for me <clears throat> in, in in ufc i don't mind i don't mind doing this at all in ufc this is more natural to me because most players in ufc are just scared most players in ufc are i don't i, I don't want to say it, i don't want to use the word cowards because you know you're not a coward in a video game but like just just scared you know just afraid Just afraid. 
I think players in Undisputed are a bit more brave. And a lot of that bravery comes down to the fact that the game doesn't really have a proper vulnerability system. And they've not been put away. They've not really been put away clean from being reckless. You know what I mean? So there's a lot more room to be brave in a game like this. Once again, I don't know if brave is the right word because you can't really be brave in a video game. You know, there's no real threat to your physical, to your physical body. I think bold is the word I'm looking for. Bold and confident. But yeah, we're talking about the damage, the way the damage works. Oh, he's throwing power jabs now. Yeah, I saw that. Nice. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Now, Floyd Mayweather did a number on Ricky Hatton, if you guys remember that fight. He tried, man. He really did. But Floyd caught him with that beautiful step. Left hook. That check hook slept the man. Um, I was saying, the way the damage works in this game, it's actually separated into three different parts. Left, right, and center. And you have to pretty much deplete the health on a specific side before you can get a rock. And so, because of that, it encourages one, like, it, it encourages a game, gameplay style of, like, a consistent attack on one side. So that's why a lot of times you get people throwing left hook, left hook, left hook, left hook, left hook. Because... They got to try to reduce or deplete the health on the right side of your the right side of your head. Then they can get a rock. So like the game doesn't really the damage system doesn't really encourage a like alternating arms in terms of combos. It really doesn't encourage that because Okay. One two rounds lost round number 3. Let's let's try to make sure that doesn't happen again. You know what I mean? The game doesn't really encourage you to alternate arms as you're throwing combos. I mean, I, I still do it anyways because it looks better. But what it really encourages is for you to just use, for you to sustain your attack on one side. And, you know, that looks cheesy. Doesn't look too good. So I don't know how they're going to fix that, bro. I really don't. Because even if they increase the power, there we go. Even if they increase power, that core mechanic is still going to hinder the damage system. It just will. Perhaps a solution to that, and I'm just thinking... As I'm playing, just brainstorming as I'm playing right now. Perhaps a solution to that is, hey, if you get hit on the right side of your face, then a little bit of, like a little bit of, a little bit of damage will also be done to the center. If you do damage to the left side, a little bit of damage will be done. A little bit of damage will be done to the, um, to the center. If you do damage to the center, a little bit of damage will be done to both sides. So then what that's going to do is it encourages players to start their combinations with a straight shot. A linear shot. So a jab, a cross. And then it encourages players to stick with jab straights. It encourages players to go jab right hook. It encourages players to go jab left hook. <clears throat> And uh, if you start your combo with a, a round strike, it encourages players to go round straight. Does that make any sense, what I just said? So you're going to see more realistic combinations because of that. And damage will be done quicker. Even though you're not necessarily hitting the center side when you start with a round strike. A little bit of damage should be done to that center. Just, I'm just, see, but this is the problem, man. 
when you have a system like this, then we got to start coming up with artificial gamey solutions. You know, and, and it's it's why I don't like systems like that, because now we got to all start brainstorming and coming up with all these art, art, artificial solutions that are that are not really realistic. You know what I mean? But that's just because you started off with an unrealistic system to begin with. So now we got to find unrealistic solutions to deal with them. Oh, power shots. So yeah, man, for Undisputed 2, hopefully we get Undisputed 2. For sure, you have to invest in a vulnerability system. If I'm attacking the head, I'm attacking the head. It doesn't matter if I'm attack. Like, it's not that big of a deal if I'm going, if I'm attacking the left side or the right side or center. It's still the human head, you know? If I hit you with a freaking... Like that. If I hit you with a jab straight left hook, I'm still attacking your head. It doesn't matter that I attack different sides of the head. The damage should accumulate, period, because I am attacking the head. So it should be head health, body health, period. And then with the vulnerability system, you can do that. You can then pinpoint where damage accumulates faster with a vulnerability system so for example with a vulnerability system you could say the right side of the body is way more vulnerable because that's where the liver is and so if the opponent is attacking you to the right side of your body and let's say you're leaning into it or you're stretching your body and they're attacking you with a hook on the right side of your body well they're attacking your liver You know, you could say the solar plexus, for example, right? It's a very vulnerable spot. So then the, vulner the vulnerability peaks a bit higher as your opponent is attacking you to the solar plexus. Stuff like that. The chin, for example, is, you know, it's the chin, the temple, for example, or parts of the face, the, of, of the head, where if you're getting hit, it typically does more damage well you can build a vulnerability system that takes that into account if, if you lean into an uppercut well yeah this man just switched things around on me boys he just straight up switched things around on me and i haven't been paying attention so hold on a sec I don't even know who, who's winning this fight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I don't even know who's winning this fight. Oh, my goodness. Talking too goddamn much. Brainstorming. Trying to find solutions. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's lock in for a moment. I guess we'll find out in round number seven. Well, I mean, they did show the... Didn't they show the the scorecards in round number three? Didn't they? Round number four? <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeez. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, those of you wearing headphones. I know that was terrible. My apologies. My apologies. My sincerest apology. So I am clearly winning this fight, but not by much. Not by much. We'll try to make sure that we keep a sustained... Make sure that we're paying attention to the scorecards, man, as opposed to just throwing. But yeah, sorry about, sorry about that, for, boys. Clear my throat like that. I know, I know. That shit pisses me off when I'm watching a content creator, and I just did it. So my apologies on that. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> let's let's just make sure let's make sure that we are not dropping rounds, man. Oh, 
Oh, he got me with a count with a counter right there. Crap, 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 crap. So he switched things up on me bad. And I don't know if he's bluffing or if his stamina hasn't gone down at all. Or maybe his health is pretty good. I am almost convinced this man is bluffing right now. But I can't be sure. I have to I have to respect him. I think he's bluffing, and I really want to stand in front of him and call his bluff. But I'm I, I don't want to gamble and make a mistake. You know what I mean? So Oh, he's backing up now. Oh, did I call your bluff? Did I call your bluff and was I right? Oh, yeah, this is good. This, this this guy is good. He's good because um I think he's bluffing. I think he's bluffing, but he's doing it in a, he's doing it in a very in a very skillful way. Like he's he's not letting me know how damaged he is, and I haven't rocked him yet, so I I don't I don't know what his health is. Usually, when you drop them or when you rock them, it shows you their health stat, and that kind of gives you a gauge. So I, I don't know I don't know where his health is at the moment There's no way his body is not hurting bro There's no way that body is not hurting I've landed so many shots We're probably gonna come up on like 900 shots bro I'm thinking by the end of this fight, if this goes to a decision, we might we might hit the 1K punches thrown mark. <laughs> and it just should not be the case. It really shouldn't. We should someone should have already been hurt. You know what I mean? It shouldn't have to get to this this point. There we go. Yes. Oh, uh yeah, 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 yeah. I am also keeping in mind that the way the judges favor accuracy has been changed. Usually, I would like, oh, crap. Usually, I would just try to focus on being highly, like, very accurate. So, I might land just a few shots. And as long as I am more accurate, I know I'm going to win that round. But it's been changed. Total strikes landed matters as well now. So we have to make sure that we are throwing a sufficient amount of strikes so that I'm staying accurate, but also making sure I am hitting him more than he hits me. You know what I mean? So just a few things to keep in mind. All right, come on, come on. Mm-hmm. Every time he stands right in front of me, I'm just I'm just teeing off on that body. But see now what he's doing is he's starting to circle away from the body shot. I see it. I see him doing it. So I have to try to track I have to track him. Where is he circling to? Yeah, you ain't talking about me. You ain't talking about me talking about stamina. I'm pretty sure you're talking about my opponent right now. Hold on. Dude, I don't know how I went from being the guy that's pressuring to being the guy that's being pressured right now. Oh, crap. Sorry. I know. 
Hold on. There we go. There we go. Caught him clean with that one. Hmm. I'm thinking that um, as we get later in the rounds, I'm probably going to switch and start trying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's four rounds in the bag for me, bro. Yeah, he's going to get very desperate right now because he knows. He knows. He's going to have to stop this. He's, he, he needs to stop me. Even if he wins the next three rounds, he's not going to win. Well, I'm not sure about that. I don't know what the other judges... I don't know. They're only, they're only showing me one judge's scorecard. I'm not sure what the other guys are... I'm not sure what the other guys are doing right now. They probably haven't won in all four rounds. You know what I mean? You can't really trust these judges in between rounds. Mm-hmm. Ah, there we go. Got him back. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch. They okay. All right. Yeah, now he now he's throwing the the body uppercuts. I I I get it, bro. I understand. I understand. I understand, bro. But I will throw right back at you, man. Yeah, I'll throw right back at you, brother. And I'm going to start adding some power now. Mhm. Mm I will dig right back, bro. I will dig right back. Good round. Oh my god, I need water. Sorry. If you guys, those of you that, that work out consistently, this happens all the time, bro. Like, every time I go to jujitsu class and, and have to do commentary right after, my throat just gets all parched. <laughs> Well, well, it's it's mostly when I like get exhausted training. That's when it happens. Like I, I have to clear my throat like for the rest of the freaking day, just from the exhaustion. So today's training was pretty damn freaking hard, and your boy, your boy was exhausted on the way home from class, bro. I don't like that feeling at all. <clears throat> But hey, you know what they say? Wait, what do they say about exhaustion? Well, I know they say fatigue makes cowards of men. I know they say that, but uh, I think they also say that it builds character. <laughs> I think they also say that. Definitely for jujitsu. Like, that's the best time to practice your defense. That's the best time to practice your defense. There we go. There we go. You get exhausted. Roll with a roll with a black belt. And you survive, bro. You survive. He crushed you, but hey, at least your ass didn't get submitted. I must feel good. All right, we're going to start digging to the body right now with this left hook. And I'm going to try to sustain an attack on that right side of his body and see if maybe I can freaking get a drop, bro. It's been 11 rounds and not a single rock on either side. All right, one more round to go, boys. One more round to go. Let's 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 try to secure this. Let's try to win this one. Let's try to win this. Get this get this twelfth round, and we're good to go. Uh, I think I just showed my hand. I think I just showed him my hand. 
But I'm gonna keep doing it though. Power. Power. Yeah, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. No. Sorry, I know that pissed you off. Whiffing like that for no freaking reason. No. Yes. Like that. Just like that. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I saw him wilt right there. I saw that boy wilt right there. That right side of his body is donezo, boys. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and the commentators are talking about it now. Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. That right side of that man's body is dead. I can tell. I can tell. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them nonstop. Well, wasn't able to rock him. Decision it is, baby. Decision it is. Hopefully we did enough to win the fight. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down, boy. Stay down. Stay down. <laughs> it's over. It is done. It is absolutely done. I but I, I think I got this one. Dominant performance? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, that was fantastic, dude. I was talking about yo, I would like to get at least one rock. And it freaking happens like with seconds left. In round number 12. Are you kidding me? All right, let's look at this. Yeah, okay. All right. So the judge that really likes me is the is judge number three. But all of them like me. I pretty much won this fight handily. It's not a wash. It's not a complete wash. But um, it, it's, it's, it's very close. It's very close. Well, there you have it, man. Reiki Hatton in Undisputed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. It always helps out the channel. And um, I will definitely see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one.